Hey, it is 841 right now, and it's almost time for this year's NFL draft. It's in Detroit. Last year, the Colts, if you remember, picked up quarterback Anthony Richardson in the first round with the fourth overall pick. This year, the team has the 15th pick, and they're looking to score big again. Matt Taylor, the voice of the Colts, joining us this morning. He's here with some thoughts on the team's strategy heading into, of course, the draft taking place April 25th through the 27th and how some lucky fans can attend. Matt, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Um, before we get into the specifics of these positions and what we're looking at here, I want to start with the VIP experience draft sweepstakes. It's open now for fans. And tell me, what is that? What's the potential for someone to win here? Yeah, one lucky fan is going to Detroit. All expenses paid. Incredible. You and a guest, you're going to spend the entire weekend in Detroit checking out the draft and uh, scoping out who the Colts pick with the 15th overall selection. That's an incredible opportunity, and it's something that I think a lot of people would like. Also, the Colts have a draft party sweepstakes, which is actually here in Fishers at Top Golf. Yep. Five winners will be drawn for this and explain what the prize is for this one. Yeah, so this is actually going to open up on Monday, Colts.com, so check it out. But yeah, the, the Colts draft party is coming up at Top Golf and Fishers. Um, you, I should say, five lucky winners uh, could win, and you can bring up to seven guests. You get your own bay at Top Golf. Oh, wow. Party with the Colts. And again, check out who the Colts uh, select with the 15th pick. It's a great experience. Season ticket holder members are there. Colts fans are there. You're going to party like a VIP. No you kidding. swing the club and and uh, you know, see how far you can blast the ball, but then also figure out again and, and party with the Colts and, and celebrate who they bring in to that impact player in the first round. Yeah, that's incredible. And how fun that you get to bring your friends. That's so cool too. <laughs> All right, so that's the fun. Those are the sweepstakes. Make sure you go enter right. that. Uh, now let's talk a little bit of strategy. So the Colts, we have the 15th uh, pick right now. If we do go for a receiver, let's start with that. Who are we thinking looks good right now? Well, the wide receiver in this depth is incredibly deep. I mean, just like every year now, the wide receivers coming out of the college game, I mean, they're ample. So you got you know, Brian Thomas, who could be in range for the Colts at pick number 15. He's an outstanding player out of LSU. You're going to have some really elite wide receivers go in the top of the draft, mm -hmm. but this is kind of that next crop of wide receivers that might be there in the middle of the first round. So, as I said, Brian Thomas, Adonai Mitchell, really good player out of Texas, transferred from Georgia, um, actually led the, the Big 12 in touchdown receptions last year. Lad McConkey out of, out of Georgia, kind of an underrated guy, but mm -hmm. he, you know, he can play in the slot, he can play on the outside. And then Xavier Worthy out of Texas. He actually set the NFL combine record for fastest 40-yard dash, 4.21 seconds. Not as fast as you, but right. that's, 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 pretty, <laughs> that's pretty speedy right there. So oh. uh, he can find the end zone as well. So those are kind of the, the main options, if you will, for the Colts in terms of mock drafts, wide receivers that might be there in the 15th uh, with the 15th pick for Indianapolis. Yeah, I think I'm still recovering from, from my 40 <laughs> Got a stretch now. Right, yeah, All it right. was cold that day, okay? I was not one. <laughs> All right, hey, we also want to talk about corners because I know that's something we're looking at too. So talk about what might be available for that position. Yeah, again, the wide receiver depth is so big. Defensive players might be there for the Colts. The top half of the draft is going to be so offensive heavy, which is going to push down some of these elite defensive players, especially mm -hmm. these guys at corner like you talked about. Quinion Mitchell, this guy right here out of Toledo. Don't, don't misunderstand this guy. Don't think just because he played at the MAC that he can't play in the NFL. His tape is elite. He can cover. Uh, he can take the ball away, passes the fence, everything's there. Had a great combine, had a great workout uh, with the senior bowl experience as well. And then Terrion Arnold out of Alabama. This guy can play. I mean, obviously playing with the Crimson Tide, that mm -hmm. program speaks for itself. So he can play as well. So those are the two main corner cornerbacks, I should say, that have been mocked to the Colts uh, in the middle of the, of the first round. Those are two guys that I think if they're there on the board, the Colts have to think long and hard about getting an impact player and maybe a starter at that position. Yeah, there's certainly a lot to consider when you're going in and making these decisions because we're also considering edge rushers here. So who are the Colts maybe thinking for that position? Yeah, the main guys here would be Jared Verse out of Florida State. I mean, he is uh, an, an, a conference player, if you will, and, and the uh, ACC level. Really, really good motor coming off the edge. The Colts last year actually uh, set a franchise record for sacks in a single season, but they want to continue to supplement, right? Get after Quiddy Pay, Dio, Dangbo, Samson, Ebicom, just more waves to hit the quarterback. And then Latu Latu out of UCLA. He actually had 13 and a half sacks last year, uh, led the Pac-12 in that regard, actually had the most sacks by a Bruins player since 
since 2012. So again, you're going to have so many offensive players at the top of the draft pushing down some of these defensive players and the depth at cornerback and defensive end, it's not as ample as wide receiver. So again, a draft strategy for the Colts might be let's go defense in the first round, knowing we can get an impact player at wide receiver later in the draft, maybe mm -hmm. Friday, rounds two, rounds three. Um, but it's, it's all about how the Colts set up that board. It's all right. about their grading system. And if there's a really enticing player sitting there at 15, no matter the position, the Colts are going to draft that guy. And I think he's got to be a starter for this team next year. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot, a lot of strategy goes into this, a lot of options, moving parts. So I'm curious to see how it shakes out. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget, you can still enter each of those draft sweepstakes. Get it on some of these parties. We'll have the link for you to do that. You can just head to fox59.com and we'll get you set up. The NFL draft again kicks off on Thursday, April 27th at 8 p.m. You can join us right here on Fox 59 at 7.30 for a Colts Blue zone draft preview. Our team of course going to be looking at the prospects more closely there. You can also join us on Sunday April 28th at 11 p.m. to recap the draft picks and how each could be an asset to the team in 2024. Daniel.